Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to AutoX, the channel where we bring some of the weirdest cars to you via YouTube. This right here is a 94 Mitsubishi Delica Space Gear. These vans are gaining popularity outside of Japan where they were mostly sold. Um, and this one's a 1994. It's heavily modified with a six plus inch lift, body lift, joust, front brush guard, bash guard, civvy lights, massive front and rear sway bars, Deerfield 15 inch super wide wheels sitting on wrapped in 32 inch tires. Um, we've got some aftermarket side steps, over fenders. This one is particularly a super exceed trim and that was the higher trim level. Um, so it's got the crystal light roof. It's got a Terzo rear ladder, joust rear brush guard, mud flaps, LED tail lights, all sorts of fun aftermarket features on this one. It's just, it sits so tall and high. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, this was a one owner rig in Japan where it very obviously spent its life a pavement princess. It for sure lived in a garage. There is no signs of wear or tear on this vehicle. It's got some 15 inch Deerfield aftermarket rims wrapped with some Bridgestone Dueler 32 all terrains. Let's take a look underneath. I wanna show you this crazy lift that they've got going on. Um, some Rancho shocks in the rear as well. Simply massive amounts of work were done. There's a rear diff cover. That's a breather tube. Diff. All sorts of goodies. A total custom exhaust front to back. And this vehicle only has 39,000 kilometers. That means, well, it translates to about 24,000 original miles. So it's barely been used for a 1994. That's just insane. Uh, badged on the side, you can see it's got the 24 valve V6 3000 3, cc engine, which was an engine that was used in so many cars, Dodge, Chrysler. Of course, it's a Mitsubishi engine, so we had it here in the Montero, the 3000 GT. Uh, it's such a long list. Dozens of cars use this engine. It's ubiquitous, meaning that it's easy to service. They have a very good reputation of going quite a while. I mean, it's not unusual for one of these to last 250,000 miles plus without needing a rebuild. These space gears were also offered in the 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine, the 4M40, which are also great engines. Um, they're intercooled turbo diesel engines. A lot of people like those. They have gotten a bit of a reputation over in Australia to crack heads. If it was my personal choice, I'd go for the V6. I think it just makes a more reliable package. You sacrifice a bit of fuel economy and maybe just kind of that cool diesel factor that some people like. Um, but if you want something that can be serviced and just go forever without too much concern, I'd go with the V6. I think it's called the 6G72 engine, which is the engine code. Huge heavy duty mirrors here with a blue tint. OX brand um, rain covers on your windows, just massive. They take up like half the window. It's got this front bib slash deflector, fully adjustable here with these two bolts and two more on the other side. And then you even have another one stacked on top. Um, this, this vehicle definitely checks some really cool aesthetic boxes. Looking up front here, Got the joust front bash plate. Got a big beefy sway bar there, that neon green. More Rancho RS9000 shocks up front. That's like the premium 
option for those ranchos. They're popular in Japan. Super tidy and clean. Again, like no miles on this vehicle. So that's kind of what you would expect, but for sure, I mean, the clear coat shines. It just, it, I don't think this thing ever sat outside. So why don't we take a look inside? Door cards are clean as a whistle, really. Front seats, it's this kind of velour slash cloth that came with these. Um, let me step up in, we'll take a look. Okay, so you've got your front console here and dash, a little bit of a faux wood trim paneling on that. Um, up here is your gauge. You've got a thermometer, a compass, vacuum uh, gauge, as well as battery voltage gauge. Looking down here, little storage compartment, two switches. I'm not sure what they do. We haven't figured that out yet. Ashtray, cigarette lighter. Looking down, here's your transfer case shifter. Two high, four high, four high low. I'm sorry, four high lock center, four low lock center. Um, this has a center locking and unlocking differential. Um, this is your climate control. It's all automatic. Very nice um, interior here. Got your parking brake with a faux wood handle. Uh, it's been fitted with a really nice aftermarket Momo steering wheel. This is a uh, leather wrapped and wood. Um, it's an automatic. We've got some aftermarket pedals here, just some beefy stuff. Up here, you've got your controls for your rear sun shades and your front sunroof, which again has a super duper big visor deflector on the outside. Looking at the seats, these have fully adjustable armrests, which can lock in several different positions. Let's take a look in the back here. You've got your rear passenger climate controls there, which gives you AC heating and all your different mode options. Two cup holders. Ashtray right there. So this is a crystal light roof, which means you've got these four power shade sunroofs in the back. Um, two captain's chairs followed by a, a three-seater in the back. Um, these are all wrapped in uh, some nice vinyl seat covers. And uh, yeah, you've got your big overhead light there. All right, let's step to the back so I can show you a little more of that. LED interior lights, more LED interior lights. The owner of this vehicle obviously really loved it and really loved buying stuff for it because it just has so many little touches there that, you know, this is a footrest. So when you're sitting here, you can rest your feet here it has uh, several different positions that it adjusts to. That's the bottom, upper, and then there's another one over there. Big old grab bar right here so you can get in. Um, rear tinted windows, pretty dark tint. I think it's almost like a limo tint. It's the original steering wheel there and some carpets. Another ashtray back there and a speaker's light here. And you've got controls for your power sunshade from the back. Some more lighting options. So sitting back here feels very luxurious. My feet, 
my leg room is very plentiful and it's just a nice old feeling. I feel kind of like I'm in a limousine that's just capable of going anywhere. It's a pretty cool feeling. Um, these space gears are really growing on me. We don't bring a lot of them in over at Auto X, but uh, we brought this one over for a customer and I think we'll definitely be bringing a few more. This one uh, is really sweet and uh, it's going to a good home. So, oh, these seats also rotate to face backwards. Let me show you how that works. So you just push this thing, or sorry, you pull that up and then do one-handed like that. They lock in this position as well as the rear facing position. All right, so that's the gist of the back end. The other seat does that too. Why don't we start up the engine so you guys can hear what that's all about. And maybe I'll even show you under the hood. This isn't a two-tone gray-green. A lot of these came in this two-tone. Um, it seemed to be the more popular choice, but I have seen them in black, full gray, white, even red. Um, not too many other colors. So Let's fire it up. Right here is your indicator for what drive you're in. So too high would be rear wheel drive. And then the indicator lights display over all four wheels when you're in four. Let's see if we can pop the hood. So standard power windows, power mirrors, power locks, all your modern day amenities back from 94. So this bumper actually is in the way of the hood. So it slides forward like that, which then allows you to open the hood up. And as you can see, there's a whole lot going on here. There's like some front strut here coming off the brake master cylinder, there's an aftermarket air intake, NGK spark plug wires, all of these big deal relays that run these front running lights, daylights, and fog lights. Big old battery. Otherwise, a very tidy engine bay sporting this 6G72 engine very ubiquitous Mitsubishi engine. All right, let's close that up. Yeah, so maybe we could take this thing for a spin, get some driving footage. Let's hop up into the cockpit. All right. So we're sitting up super high. Going to drive. So here's how the uh, climate control works. You just set your temperature. It's kind of hard to see actually turn off these there we go so it's set to 25 Celsius you just kind of kick that down and it just manages your temperature um, there's your compass it's 10 Celsius outside battery and vacuum gauge so 
I'm off public roads, so I'm doing anything illegal here. Just gonna go around in a circle, give you guys first person perspective of how this thing cruises. There's hardly any body roll, um, most likely due to the massive braces, struts, and uh, front and rear sway bars that just make this thing really steady on its feet. Um, I was very impressed with that. Cruising down the highway, even hitting any banked turns, you're just gonna be right up where you wanna be. Um, so, yeah. So that concludes our cruise. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a super unique space gear. Definitely one of a kind as far as I've seen. Check us out, OTTOEX.com. Give us a call. If you want one of these, maybe we can find one for you. Maybe we can build one for you. We do all sorts of stuff like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell if you want. Thanks again, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.